Spider stands for Innovations in Variety Testing in Australia. It's actually derived from a, a similar project in Europe, which is funded by the European Commission. That project was funded for about 12 million euros over five years, and GRDC saw an opportunity to build on that project and deliver similar benefits for Australia. Invite is a project that's being built on top of the National Variety Trial. GRDC is investing approximately $5.4 million over four and a half years in, in the Inviter project in order to achieve that. So the objective of the Inviter project is to measure variety performance in new ways. So there are two issues in variety trials that we want to deal with. One is to improve the quality of the data. We have spatial variability in fields and we can apply drone technology to try to assess how that, uh, how that variability can be accommodated in analysis of trials. A second issue is um, trying to connect data across trials and trying to use environment information to link the, the data that we collect across trials to, to each other and make improved performance predictions for varieties. The INVITER project has two types of trials. It has a series of trials that are co-located with MBT trials. There's almost a hundred of those trials. So those, in those trials, we're um, planting special trials that we can see from the satellite alongside the MBT. And we're doing extra measurements with drones and, and sensors that are, are mounted in the field. We also have 4G cameras in the field that are, are watching the plants grow and we can use that information combined with machine learning to predict the biomass every day and to understand how much stress the trials are experiencing. The second type of trial is what we call reference trials and we're running those trials here at the University of Queensland and also on the CSIRO research station at Borowa near Young and we also have another trial with SADI in South Australia. And at those three sets of trials, we're using uh, high throughput phenotyping technologies like we have here, the all-seeing tractor as we call it at UQ and that tractor has uh, LiDAR, thermal cameras, hyperspectral systems and imagery and it's taking that at very high resolution, uh, sub millimetre, some of that data and we use that information combined with drones at these reference sites in order to build better predictions of, um, from the drone imagery. And once we build those types of predictions, we can then apply it to the drone imagery we collect from the rest of the country. CSIRO is also a partner in this project and a major role for CSIRO is to be taking the historical weather data uh, and the imagery data and connecting that in with computer modelling so that we can build indices of how these trials have been affected through the season and we can use that information to also understand the relationship between trials that are grown in different sites. So we can compare trials grown in northern New South Wales with trials that are grown in Western Australia and we can work out what the relationships between those are and improve the prediction of variety performance. So the objective of the, the project overall is that on a single trial basis we'll be able to improve the, the value of the information, the, the precision at which we, we, we predict in a, in a particular site because we'll be able to use information from, particularly from the drone imagery, to understand how spatial variability has occurred in the field and we'll be able to use that information to improve the, the, the estimation of performance of single varieties. The second thing that we'll be able to do is to improve prediction across all of these trials and so that means that our regional predictions will be improved because we'll be able to use environment information. A nice example is that this year um, in the east we have a La Nina effect and so we're getting higher rainfall, we're, getting, we're going to have a lot of trials that have uh, high yields but that's not always the case so how do we combine that information with results from trials this year or in past years where there's been lower rainfall and part of what we can do is we can use our monitoring of weather and our monitoring of satellite imagery to adjust for those effects. Part of the um, advantage of Inviter is that it's building on investment in Europe. Uh, we're working with uh, one partner in particular at Wageningen University, which is uh, one of the leading agricultural universities in the world, and they've had an ongoing effort in 
applying new statistical and modelling techniques to understand uh, variability and to understand genotype environment interaction. In Australia we have a lot of expertise in that space. Uh, the Europeans are, are building more in that area as well and we're working with them in particular to try to apply those techniques in, in our trials. Invita is collecting a large amount of data from sensors on the ground, from weather stations, from satellites and then we use that information and feed it into crop simulation models and that allows us to produce an environment index for each trial in the in the entire network. And we'll also be doing that with historical data. So we'll be going back through GRDC's history record and, and re-predicting in all of those uh, last 10 years worth of trials. Then we can test those techniques and see how much we can improve the prediction of performance. So that enables us to build a, a, a system that allows us to improve prediction of performance in each season and to augment that over time so that farmers get a better prediction of variety performance in any region. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.